Ahoy Rum Explorers, I'm Nia, I'm a rum enthusiast and today we're exploring Transcontinental Rum Line Australia 2013. Super excited to go and do this review. So we're gonna look at who's behind these uh, Transcontinental Rum Lines and why I picked this bottle. So grab a drink and come plunder some rum with me. Got your drink? It's officially rum time! So again, today we're exploring Transcontinental Rum Line Australia 2013. So, have you ever heard of this company? Does this sound like it's new? It did to me. So I've seen these amazing boxes with all these details, obviously always a ship, and we'll go into the details about that. So basically, this these releases are by La Maison Evelier. So a little bit of history of who these people are because a lot of the times we don't know and it's important to know the history. They are distributors that are now turned into global producers. Yes, global producers. And the two main guys behind La Maison Evelier is Luca Gargano, yes, the same guy that's in the rum journal, helping us classify rums, which is incredible, which is the original owner of Vellier. Vellier was founded in 1947, and they basically distributed fine spirits throughout Italy. And in 1983, when Luca was 25, he bought some of the shares from Vellier. Then you have Thierry Benita, or Thierry Benita, <laughs> however you wanna say it, um, the owner of La Maison du Whisky, which is if you're not French, you can kind of guess because the last word is whiskey in French too, but the house of whiskey. And he actually um, established La Maison du Whisky in 1956. And yes, they did kind of focus on whiskeys, but just a little bit of backstory on Luca, which I thought was very interesting, is Vellier always focused on all spirits. But when he came into Vellier, he actually found out that there was a lot of, and not by a lot, I mean like a bunch of bottles of old St. James from the 19th century, which he was going crazy and trying to obtain and he actually did. So this I feel like catapulted him in the rum world specifically. And then they partner. So Vellier is Luca and La Maison is Terry, hence La Maison et Vellier. They both have now partnered to travel all over the world to bring us these incredible spirits. If you're not familiar with what they've already brought all over the world and especially here in the US to us is all the Clarence collection. So they're very picky they hand select and go partner with, with these distillers, which is incredible, and help these distillers distribute these incredible rums in that case. So this is another one of their incredible collections. So again, Transcontinental Rum Line, or short for TCRL, are most of the time hand selected by Luca and Thierry. And basically they go to the different distillers. This one specifically is Benley Distiller. Benley is the oldest distillery in Australia. And the juice is from there. And this is how I ruin my nails, people. Now you do not see these bottles quite frequently. I did go to Primo's here in Fort Lauderdale. There's two locations. I always go to the one that's further south to go see my friend Benny. Shout out to my friend Benny. Um, but they had this one. So the reason why it's transcontinental and specifics on these bottles is that they age four years in oak barrel in Australia. So the juice is produced in Benley in Australia. They rest in four years. Then they get put on the boat, travel across the sea, which if you didn't know, angel share is a lot low and the movement still causes a quite unique combination and flavorings to these juices, which I'm very excited to try. And then in Europe, it ages for an additional two years in oak casks. Now this specific rum was distilled in a pot still and fermented from molasses in 2013, hence the 2013. Now, presentation wise, you gotta be impressed, right? Beautiful colorings that call to your attention, a lot of beautiful history on the TCLR, and a lot of history on this specific rum on the other side. I also really enjoyed that on the bottom, 
there's a little I'd say kind of like grating system for if the rum is fruity spicy or sweet so fruity it has four little dots and it's filled two out of four so we're expecting this two out of four fruity spicy it's got a four out of four and then sweet it's got zero which is quite unique. Now, as far as the notes on this, it says toasted coconut, vanilla, spices, and peppermint flavor. Now, before we move on to the review, I want to I want to talk about why I decided to choose this specific bottle. So, I was exposed to Australian rums in our happy hour with Black Tot with Mitch from Black Tot. So, apparently, the blend in in one of their latest releases has a component of Australian rum. Now, in that happy hour they broke down every single rum that's then blended in black tot i think it was like an anniversary edition but i have to be honest one of my favorite rums in that blend was an australian rum and it was a rum distilled in Manly. so when i saw this i was like oh i'm super super sold well guess what happened i feel like i manifested this I'm going to Australia in September. It was a twofer. Exposed to Australian rums and now going to Australia. So super excited to try this. Let's move forward with the review. Let's wait for this pop. Ooh, that's nice. Actual cork. You'll see that the cork has a beautiful wooden topper. It says TCRL. The other big thing that La Maison Evelier are involved in is anything Hamden. If you are a fan of those um, Jamaican rums, they're involved in that. So I absolutely love those. They're Jamaican rums, but they're excellent rums in my opinion. They're a little bit on the stronger side, but as far as Jamaican rums, you do get a little bit of the funk, but they're very well produced. So they're quite enjoyable. I'm gonna keep this light. Wow, the coloring. So light amber. I'm bringing back this neat glass even though I think I'm gonna eventually retire it because it mutes down the rum and we don't want any muted rum. Oh, let me leave this open so it can air out. As far as the bottle, same thing. Very colorful, very colorful logo design. I absolutely love it. There's kind of like an old school look to it, but it's really interesting and it does catch my attention. Also, it does clarify here that in Europe, they use ex cognac barrels to age in the additional two years, which is very, very cool. It does say that this is a small batch, so we'll see. As far as the coloring, it's a perfect golden amber. A little bit of beating, not too much. I'm excited for this. I feel like I need to do Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> That's what they do in Australia. So excited to go back because I did live there in 2006, I believe. Yes, in 2006. Visit some friends, visit some distilleries with my family. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out those vlogs. Also, speaking of rum running vlogs and my tiki shirt from Suffering Bastard, we do have a very big tiki event this weekend here in Pompano. It's called the Hukilau. So Nani and I are gonna crash it. Yes, we're gonna crash it. And we're gonna try to um, meet some rum people, buy some tiki stuff. Last year, I was able to buy some stuff from King Bang. She has some really cool jewelry. If you have seen my earrings with the little barrels, that's her, so shout out to her. I'll put her information down below if you wanna check out her stuff and you have a significant other that might like some of her stuff. It's really, really cute, but yes excited so don't miss out follow me also on instagram because i do post on there it's my room diaries channel now yes unfortunately i lost the original my room diaries let's try this nose Ooh, i definitely get the cognac smell a little and this was the last bottle that i found at primo so i don't remember how much i paid but i know it was over a hundred dollars wow that's not bad so i actually paid 84.99 so now i'm even more excited you know me anything up to $100 is okay with me, but it should be pretty good, so I'm excited. Sadly, they are sold out at Primo's, so I was lucky enough to scoop up the last bottle. Going back to the notes, a little bit of a floral note, a little bit of oakiness, some butterscotchy notes, light vanilla, but it smells amazing. Now, the weird thing is it says 
on the sweet scale it has a zero so it's gonna be interesting to smell the sweetness and then not taste it yeah but there's like a little floral note in there that smells amazing let me know the neat glass real quick a lot of oak coming through on the neat glass a little bit like honeysuckle is what i'm getting in the neat glass now let's go ahead and try this my mouth is watering salivating ready for this experience cheers i could definitely see how they're calling this like peppermint but it's like a sweet peppermint kind of like a sweet peppermint chocolate it's like that but definitely a long 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 linger this is 48 percent um that was amazing a little bit of oiliness at the top of my palate the first initial sip it was so enjoyable I would say a little bit of white pepper note, not so much spicy to me personally. I love spicy stuff. Well, not spicy, not super spicy food, but like a naturally spiced rum. Quite enjoyable. There is some sweetness to it. There's still a lingering. My mouth is still watering. It's crazy. Let me take another sip. Cheers. Okay. On my second sip, I do get quite a heavy finish of the cognac barrels. Usually when you get this much heaviness of the other spirit that the cask was aging sometimes what they'll do is they'll use wet barrels which means is there's a little bit of the previous spirit in there still because remember wood is porous so there could be anything in there from previous spirit or different things that add to the flavorings but this is amazing this is very very unique i have never tried anything like this um i'm so glad i got this now if i remember correctly the benley rum that i tried wasn't this aged but i'm gonna go ahead and bring that sample to compare because i'm totally geeking out right now but let me try the neat glass it's quite beautiful there's it lingers quite quite long which i absolutely love because this is a true sipping rum like to add this to anything else not judging at the end of the day you can do whatever you want with your rum i don't encourage or discourage anybody it's your rum you drink it however you want but definitely give this one a try just sipping it neat because there's a lot of complex flavors there's a very long linger to it probably one of the top lengthy rums that i've tried let me try the neat glass again i'm getting a little bit of honeysuckle and now let's try it cheers okay on this one the peppermint is a little bit more subdued i am getting a little bit of a hug on this one which is weird because on others i don't get a hug well the hug is at least less or the heat on my chest is a little bit less so in this case the chesticles are happy really well balanced it's not overpowering on the palate it's it's a beautiful rum it is very diverse and as it goes through your palate, you're really experiencing different things, which I absolutely love. And like I said before, a very long, long linger. I'm gonna have to take another sip of this one. But the peppermint, the sweet peppermint on this one is quite subdued. Getting more of the sweetness of like the cognac barrels and the molasses on this one. But it's, it's amazing. This is delicious. Okay. I'm gonna go bring that Australia sample and I'll be right back. So these kinds of things are things that you should always subscribe to and join. These are virtual tastings or happy hours. The This one was organized by the Florida Rum Society in combination with Black Tot Rum. So we got this incredible box with all the spirits to try. As you can see, this is amazing. I absolutely love it. And the samples are in here. So there was a Guyana and Trinidad component or Mark, um, a Jamaican and Barbados component and the Australia component. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a tiny little bit. As you can see, I don't have a lot left, but this is what they gave us which is amazing so we could see um we could see right there so basically this one is also a pot still rum at 6.7 oh 6.7 percent of australian rum goes into the blend this is bottled in scotland so let's see this one seems to be a little bit lighter in color if feels like let's go ahead and try this so i can remember if i enjoyed this as much as this one cheers this one smells a lot more like a traditional pot stilled rum it doesn't smell like this one this one has more complex notes in my opinion but again this is my nose your nose can detect a variety of notes different than mine that's my personal opinion and it's what i love about rum 
everybody can give their opinion. Cheers. Yeah, this one has a more citrusy finish, like a grapefruit. There are still some beautiful notes, but I enjoy this one more. There's absolutely no peppermint or spicy notes on this one. It's more of like a traditional pot stilled rum. You did get that funkiness, that uh, like bananas, like mature bananas, mature pineapple. And at the end, a lot of like grapefruit, a lot of bitterness on the tongue, a little bit of oiliness, but very, very different than what I remember but quite enjoyable but if you don't like funky rums or pot still rums definitely give this one a try because because it is incredibly unique I have never tried a pot still rum that the nose was this different and the palate was this different this I could say yes it's more like a traditional pot still rum if you're not familiar pot still rums are funkier because of the way they're distilled it kind of heightens the flavorings or esters in the rum versus column column it'll go through multiple plates and it'll kind of weaken and mute down all the flavors sometimes not all the way down but they're also very light pot still rum are more full-bodied or heavier they have an oiliness to the top of your palate which is pretty cool um, I personally enjoy more hybrid distilled rums or pot still rums although <laughs> at the Miami Rum Congress I did try a rum JM I think it was pure column and that thing was phenomenal but it was a rum agricole so I think that's why it was so potent on the nose and the palate uh, but this one quite impressive is this treasure chest approved I'm going to say yes it is treasure chest approved it is so unique I don't have anything like this in my collection very excited to add this so Congratulations, a la Maison Velier as always. I'm absolutely in love with this con transcontinental rum line. If you can scoop these up, I definitely wanna get some, I know they have some Jamaican ones, but definitely Trinidad rums or Guyana rums. I would love to add those bottles to my collection. Super impressed with this one. And as far as the journal type, this is going to be an aged rum. And then as far as Gargano rum type classification, hey, Gargano is in charge of this, right? This is gonna be a pure single rum because it's a molasses based rum distilled in a pot still that's what pure single means as far as the royal rum society's classification code i definitely don't think this is as sweet as i expected but it was quite enjoyable so i'm gonna leave it as a four out of nine and then from bland to flavorful mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. g for good this is quite flavorful from smooth to harsh i am gonna give this a medium and when i waited a couple minutes it was still medium so i absolutely enjoyed enjoyed that now as far as the whiskey exchanges flavor camps this is a little bit more tropical and fruity but i think i'm gonna stay with fruity and spicy for this because obviously there is a lot of peppermint-ish notes in there now if you did enjoy this review and look forward to me trying more rare bottles like this one so make sure you hit that subscribe button so i can welcome you on board i'm super excited to go to australia in september and i look forward to bringing some more rums to show you and try with you guys i look forward to the next rum cheers do you like colorful bottles like this one? Are you a label whore like I am? Definitely check out this video right here of this rum and its incredible label. Let me know what you think. Enjoy!